Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are getting very close to being ready to deal the death blow to the Unbidden. All we need to do, really, is push into Parsax, bait all of their fleets into attacking us, and fight them at Velderam. And that's the goal. So I think we're going to take these three fleets, and we're going to go Unforbid Rimok, and we're going to hit Rimok. We do need this construction ship to finish up, but it's done now. So that's perfect. You can come on over here, and then I want you to just jump into this system for now. And with these fleets, we're going to push down over here and get a good pincer on them. They're going to have no chance. How close is Velderam to being upgraded? 300 days. Okay, we've got some time. So that's perfect. They're going to jump their fleet in here. This is fine. We kill this fleet. No problem. This station is already dead. Our construction ship needs to move here as quick as it can. And as soon as this fleet is dead, then we will queue up a construction here. We are lacking in the influence. I should have checked that. Regardless, these three fleets are going to move like so. We will have the influence soon enough. We are under attack in Velderam again, but this is no problem. It's already dealt with. We will continue reinforcing. Our construction ship will grab this as soon as we can. We need three more influence, so we need one more month tick. Hopefully the Rixie don't beat us to this. I'll be really salty if they do. But I don't think they will. We have more reinforcements constantly coming in. Excellent. We continue to reinforce. I'm going to jump the Throndrite Shards over into Eurus. I want to take out all of these construction ships. And then they'll immediately come back. This construction ship will die to these Corvettes. I want them to have nothing left out here, save whatever fleets they have over here. We know for a fact that they have at least seven to eight fleets over here. But that's why we're going to fight them at Velderon, where we have the benefit of the disruption field generator, and hopefully, by the time we pull, by the time we put this into action, a little bit more. They don't have anything off over this way, so we don't need to be concerned about anything coming in from there. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this Rimok right here. And that should fully cut off the Rixie from thinking about settling over here, I hope. Order restored on Blorp Papa. That's good. Um, yeesh. <laughs> okay, that's going to be a while before that's really back up to snuff. Well, let's just continue on our deficit, our quest to reduce the deficit. 150 more days on this star hold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Lentipaz fragments here, and we're going to go clear up these last two dimensional anchors and then come back. Excellent. And then we're going to think about these as well. I do think that we definitely want to make sure that we grab Riblor. But there's not going to be a whole lot of places that they can go. We want to bait them into fighting at Velderam, and that'll be fine. That upgrade is progressing. The Physidian Shards, or rather the Lentipaz Fragments, are in the Corvette stage at this point. So that's great.
and we should, in theory, be just fine to do this. As we continue to take out dimensional anchors, they are of course spawning fleets slower and slower. How are we doing, anyway? We have killed 7509 unbidden ships, and lost 5223, okay. We're definitely winning. And we've got them on the run at this point. We're at literally zero alloys, okay. We do need to sell off some food, though. There we go. I'll sell off some minerals as well, and we'll buy in a few extra alloys. I guess we'll sell some rare crystals, too. Okay, there we go. And we'll just continue reinforcing. Okay, we're at 31 influence right now, so I think we go ahead and build mining stations in each of these locations while we wait. And I do want to destroy these dimensional anchors still. Excellent. So I think I'm actually going to take the Lentipaz fragments over here, and we're going to see about eliminating these last few dimensional anchors. I do want to send the Frisidian shards here. I don't have a fleet there currently. Send the Frisidian shards here, and then immediately right back. The Baronel fragments will not hold if they send in a fleet. So that's something we're going to have to keep in mind. We're going to continue reinforcing. It's a bunch of cruisers into the Frisidian Shards. They do not have another fleet currently, so we should be able to grab this dimensional anchor and get out of there. At least that's the hope. We definitely need more influence. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this construction ship. We can't really afford to have two construction ships going with influence. Potentially two fleets in there. But this will also get us a little bit of scouting information on what we're dealing with out here. But we definitely need to get this going. So we'll go for the fire rate, I think. Got a disruption field generator. So I think we go for the command center, but that requires a star fortress. So we'll have to go for the target uplink computer first. And then we'll build three more defense platforms. And then we'll upgrade it to a star fortress. We may not get it all the way there before we trigger this, but uh, we'll see. Now they're probably going to send their construction ship down to Jillis. Actually, no. They're just completely trapped. There's nowhere they can go. And we're just swarming all over with our reinforcements at this point. So yeah, I mean, they're going to attack over here, but this isn't going to go well. They're already dead. They just don't know it. The station is now at 20.4k, and that's just going to keep going up. I do want you guys, as soon as you kill that, to make sure you're in orbit here. There we go. We'll just keep bringing in those sweet, sweet reinforcements. Excellent. Where's that construction ship going? Construction ships are heading over here. That's fine. We'll deal with the Rixie. But not quite yet. So the Lentipaz Fragments do have a bunch of reinforcements on the way. And I'm just... This should be within sensor range. But I guess we'll just keep heading down over this way. We know that there's four fleets here, right? And we know that there's one here.
Well, let's just continue the reinforcement for now. We've got a fleet here that I believe just came through that wormhole. I'm going to send the Lentipaz fragments to try to deal with that. Are they heading north? They are. And they did come through the wormhole. Where does that wormhole connect to? That's the second time they've used that. Well, we're going to have to chase them down. Maybe, yeah. Going up this way is probably better for us anyway. We'll hit our reinforcements. Should be fine. But once we have these dimensional anchors taken care of, then we'll trigger the attack at Parsax and we'll hold it Velderon. There's an Elgate Insight, that's fine. What is cheapest here? That would be Thermodynamic Yield Control. Excellent. Their fleets are very slow. There's no doubt about that. And I think this is the, the injured fleet. Yeah, that is indeed the injured fleet. Well, we can definitely intercept them. And all we need to do now is just clean up the back line, honestly. It's a bunch of corvettes for the Lentipaz fragments. It's getting very close to being maxed. Let's actually go ahead and sell a little more food. And we'll buy in just a few alloys. There we go. And I think we're going to fight them in Kasten. Unless they jump, like, immediately. Nope, we're going to fight them here. That's perfect. That is ideal for us. Just continue reinforcing. And they are very dead. Fantastic. Okay, now we come back over here. That was a bit of a detour. But that's okay. That continues to strengthen Velderam. And our fleets in general. We're definitely, uh... In incredibly powerful at this point. Like, the fact that we're dealing with the Unbidden completely on our own is kind of ridiculous. I like it. So we're currently at 95 influence. I'm going to continue to bank influence for now. We're 120 days until we get down over here. I definitely want to attack there. Which was the plan previously. And then once we clean up over here, I think we jump through one of our gateways. Probably this gateway. We clean up this fleet on the way through. And then we jump up here, clean up these dimensional anchors, claim this territory for ourselves, and then trigger. I think that's pretty much the plan here. The question is, does that happen this episode or next episode? And it kind of depends on how quickly the Lentipaz fragments move around. I mean, they're moving relatively quickly, but not tremendously quickly. So that's a thing. But every day that goes by is actually fine. We're, we're getting a stronger and stronger position every single day. We're just shipping around tons of ships. And this isn't that scary anymore. So, yeah, I think, once again, we go for the cheapest here. Excellent. The Lentipaz fragments are about 60 days away from hitting Mardom. So that is actually fine. We have a deficit of 60k alloys. Let's go ahead and check our structures here. 
we could use a tech lab here. Our housing is okay, so I think a research lab is actually ideal. Here we could use housing. That's going to be interesting. It's a generator station. I think... I already got two expanded warrens. I think we replace a reactor district with a habitation district. This foundry station needs jobs, so we'll do that. This tech world needs jobs, this forge world needs jobs, and is actually relatively maxed. This forge world is actually maxed. So we should cease drone production here for now. Unfortunately, that does cost us some influence. And I think we need to move a pop out of here. So we could move the unemployed menial drone out. Like that. Okay, we need housing here. Got synaptic clusters. Which actually does give housing, so we'll repair that. Okay. We've got this tech world where we need a job. This world is pretty maxed out as well. So I think once again we need to cease drone production here and move them out of here. There we go. This refinery station could use housing, and we'll get it some. It could also use a job, so we'll get it some of those. This mining world here definitely needs a job and housing. We'll go for an alloy foundry and a hive district. We'll go for an alloy foundry here. We've got plenty of housing. Here we just need a job and housing. Well, as soon as the month tick happens, we can go ahead and run this district. Which is right about now. And then we also need a job here. I'm going to buy in a few more minerals, actually. And then we'll upgrade that to alloy mega forges. Fantastic. We need housing here. It's a holy world. Okay. We need an alloy foundry here, and we seem to be fine now. Excellent. So we are attacking over here. We are under attack over here. That's fine. Not concerned. Let's get this attack underway. Let's reinforce a bit. Should have no problem taking out these dimensional anchors. There we go. Excellent. So we see two fleets, three fleets over here. And I'm assuming four fleets in total over here. We're going to be killing this fleet. So all things considered, the compilers are going to be settling out of this wormhole, aren't they? <laughs> That's going to be obnoxious. Can we close borders with them? We can. Mm, 125 additional? Yikes. That's a yikes. So we're not going to be bothering these two fleets. We'll kill them at Velderam. The target uplink computer will be finishing soon ish. TM. We'll take out these last three dimensional portals over here. And then eliminate this fleet. And call it a day. This fleet is actually on the move. They are chasing us. Innovation rollout. Okay. 
I'm fine with this. I think we will go for army damage. So yeah, that's fine. They can do that. We'll probably backtrack a little bit. Once we take out these two dimensional anchors, eliminate this fleet. And then eliminate this fleet and head up and trigger. I think that's the plan. Of course, in the meantime, we are digging our way out of the alloy deficit. Once again. So this is perfect. The Frisidian shards are becoming quite powerful. Are we reinforcing into the Baronel fragments yet? We are not yet. Okay. It's good to know. Do we have our Titans under, or rather our Titan singular under construction? We do not. Okay. Good to know. Oh, we should have no trouble destroying these last two-dimensional portals over here. Attrition complete. At least in theory. Assuming we don't get literally the worst rolls that I have ever seen in this game. <laughs> but we should be fine. Complete. All these reinforcements flowing in. Attrition complete. Excellent. Then the question is, are they heading south? Where are they heading? I think they're heading here. Which is fine. They can do that. We are under attack over here again. Our position here is just getting stronger and stronger. Every day that goes by. This station gets better. I'm thinking they're going to come at us when we jump, though. Although we're kind of moving slow, and we have a bunch of reinforcements in tow. About 30 days until we get there. Of course, they're moving even slower. We're now entering the wormhole. Did they change direction? They did. Fantastic. That is ideal for us. In that case, we don't need to backtrack. We just need to wait for them here and allow our reinforcements to jump in. It's perfectly fine. Incoming transmission. Let's just continue reinforcing. There we go. There's that dimensional anchor taken care of. They're going to jump in on us, and we're going to let them. The Throndrite shards currently full strength? Yes, they are. Fantastic. And here they come. But also, here's our reinforcements. Go intercept them, please. Go intercept them, please. There we go. I just didn't want them to intercept our reinforcements. Excellent. Easy peasy on this fleet. Okay. Now we come on over here. And we just continue reinforcing. And we are almost ready to spring this trap. However, it is pretty much time to put a cut in here, so I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and do that, and next episode is the one where we're gonna deal the death blow to the unbidden. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.